go into weather. Kamaka Pili. Mostly stable conditions prevail across all the islands, but changes will be taking place starting tomorrow evening, but drastic changes within the next 36, 48 hours or so. Taking off on Molokai tomorrow morning, starting off mostly sunny skies, and then that's going to increase in cloud coverage and showers by tomorrow evening. And as you see in those red boxes, the winds are going to not just be moderate, but some gust. And as the day progresses, we'll be getting higher in those 20s, even in those 30s. Some areas, especially for Lanai, by tomorrow evening could be seeing a gust topping at around 40 miles per hour. Tonight, it's quiet, especially with those winds. We do have uh, some increased shower activity for those windward sides as some pockets of moisture is upstream from the islands being caught in those trades. And as we take a look for the threats tomorrow, elevated across the board, really for the jellyfish, but our winds and our rains, especially by tomorrow evening, that's going to ramp up really in a combination that could be increasing, especially once we get again into Monday. Things are going to start to change. Small craft advisory in terms of our oceans, that goes in effect tomorrow morning at least in through Monday by tomorrow uh, by Monday evening but we do also have large surf that's going to be coming through below advisory levels the next advisory level surf could be by the ending of this upcoming week but a nice bump yet again for the north up to 12 footers tomorrow afternoon up to eight footers for the west flat to two for the south and a slow bump with the increasing trade winds three to five for the east facing shores now we're gonna see this bump of trade winds not just because of a new high pressure system that's gonna be building north of the islands but there's gonna be a disturbance that's going to be forming by tomorrow evening into Monday at the east end of the state and that's going to really start to increase because of the tightening of the pressure in the atmosphere really give a bump in those trade winds and with those trade winds bump is going to bring in a lot of moisture with it especially for those windward sides so if we progress through tomorrow Sunday we see a little bit of that moisture from that cold front as, as it dissipates but then we're going to have that disturbance form towards the east most of the moisture will be situated over the ocean but as we progress out of Monday, that's going to start to move towards the west. As we get through Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to have that cold front that's going to be moving in from the northwest, and that's going to be moving eastward. So first, we're going to start to see showers due to that first disturbance. Second, it's only going to be reinforced by the cold front shower activity. So tomorrow, most of the showers will be situated over windward sides. Again, the latter portion of tomorrow. Tomorrow morning could be quite beautiful, but then that's going to be picking up again by tomorrow evening. This evening, you can see those blobs coming in pretty much for Oahu and that's going to be keeping that shower activity throughout the evening as we get into the new week we're going to lose those trade winds again around Tuesday into Wednesday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday those chances of rains is due to that disturbance forming towards the east of the islands Friday Saturday when we have more stormier conditions more widespread activity you can thank that incoming cold front for that so make sure you enjoy the beautiful conditions to start off the day tomorrow because we're not going to have it for a while Sam back to you